Ah, LucasArts. It's a pretty good studio, even if they kind of just started whoring out the Star Wars franchise. Yeah, they had a good period. You know, isn't that kind of George Lucas's uh, reason for living now? That's a good point. Yeah. I mean, he also ruins Indiana Jones, too. I do like this title, uh, or this, <laughs> right here with Django. I guess that guy had a little bounty on him. Um, I forget. Who am I? Don't worry. Somebody introduce uh, welcome me! Welcome to Let's Play <laughs> Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Um, I'm Vickus, and with me today are Dazzling Adder and Brother Entropy. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's me. Yep. We're just setting up some controls here before we play through the game. You'll probably want to notice that I hit flip Y axis there because, well, you'll see. I always do that. <laughs> I'm gonna s yeah, I do too. Inverted Y axis all the way. I, I just always use, use the defaults. <laughs> it's like no matter which way it usually is, I'll, I can just adapt. I just played too much Star Fox 64 when I was a kid, so I can't adjust. Yep. So, because this is a Star Wars game, um, welcome to the Star Wars scroll. We're going to talk over this, because it really doesn't give you anything. Because it's terrible. But this music! It was a bad storytelling <laughs> method, and now it's a stupid tradition. It really is. Every single Star Wars game has this. Eagle Queen is literally a giant wall of text. It always starts with, the Galactic Republic is in peril, or XXX is in peril. Well, if it wasn't in peril, it wouldn't be a good story. That's true. Couldn't it just be in mild distress? <laughs> we have problems. Oh, and Agora, they're in all caps. That's important. <laughs> oh, they're cold, okay. Yep. I'm not even reading this. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really doesn't matter. Uh, Darth Sidious. Sidious. Apprentice. He, he was a character. Master. No matter. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, I'm really not reading this. Master Matter. I guess at least it's thankfully short. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. That was fucking worse. <laughs> I swear, we won't be talking over the real cutscenes. Well, okay, maybe we you won't. for the rest of it to scroll by. <laughs> that we can't even see. Yeah, it. give it time. It's gonna... It's just gonna roll on by at its own pace. I'm gonna snark all over this bitch. <laughs> They're very nice stars. They're nice stars. Master? Lord Tyrannus, an urgent matter has arisen that must interrupt your training. The Pandogora has become a dangerous parasite. It must be eradicated. I believe you once had the opportunity to eliminate its leader. Why did you not take it? As an experiment? The experiment has failed. This deranged former Jedi has no place in my vision for the future. I expect you to correct this error. As you wish. And what of your plan for the clone army? Our cloners require a host. You must find an ideal specimen, perhaps among the galaxy's most dangerous mercenaries. I shall accomplish both of these tasks with a single stroke, Master. Yes, yes. I look forward to completing your training, my friend. Another! 
I'll be editing out most of the loading screens, but this is what they look like. We're fighting a giant Pokemon. Yup. It's really mad now, so we have to kill it. And Miko's controlling it. Well, of course it's mad, it's red! Miko being the big guy, who just... Mm-hmm. The guy we it missed. It said it on that little scan thing. <laughs> Still not paying much attention here. That's eh, fine. Gotta wake up a little after that cutscene. Anyway, so this is your basic, this level is pretty much all your basic tutorial stuff. Right now they're teaching us how to shoot a gun, and we have to do it an awful lot for this being the very first enemy. Well, look at that guy, he's huge! That's true, but you'd think that they'd be a little bit, like, shorter about this, because he's still not dead. Oh, there we go. Well, and the least they could do is, like, put in some, like, flinch animations or something to know that you're doing <laughs> something. Nah, just shoot him. Cyber demon shit right there. This is how you open doors. Yep. Django's a man. He doesn't need handles. All he needs is his flamethrower. He, he he does need elevators. Well, he yep. wouldn't need elevators if that asshole had jonked our jetpack. I just made up a word. Yep. It works. It's, it's a good word. Junked. <laughs> because Fall it, damage. He didn't steal it, but didn't really break it either, he just sort of sent it flying away. That asshole. Especially because levels without the jetpack are just so much less fun for so many reasons. Anyway, do a little more low action cutting. And then action rolling. Getting a lovely view of uh, Django's action nether getting. regions. Action butt. We don't need ladders either. Django is very, very physically fit. Well, yeah, and he's got powered armor too, so that Django, that probably helps. <laughs> that's a checkpoint, and that's a bounty. Burbaker Teep. Mm-hmm. This is these things are more of like a side quest, but every level has like five to fifteen bounties that you can uh, grab from where that you can grab from various points in the level. Where'd he go? Yeah, you can either get him dead or alive. <laughs> they just disappear when you capture them. But you can take him dead or alive, and um, they're sometimes worth more dead. Usually they're worth more alive. So we have to capture them. I wonder how it would work that they would be worth more dead. Uh, someone just really wants someone dead. Sometimes you'll get bounties that are There's too late to kill dead completely. themselves. Yeah, take exactly. that sword. <laughs> if only. No, he doesn't need a sword. He's a man. He has infinite ammo. That's true. He has several other weapons too that I'll be uh, mentioning. So who's this voice speaking to us? Ah, that voice speaking to us is Roz. She's this station's administrator, like the space station that we're on. Um, and she's a good friend of Django's. She's also milk toasty as fuck. <laughs> yes. There's a bounty through this door, but I can't see him. But we'll get him, don't worry. No, you can see him, you just can't use your magic scan visor on him. Nope, he's not the guy. There's another guy. Oh, okay. Uh. Anyway, you'll notice when I use the uh, aiming sight here that it goes up first instead of down. And that's because when I flip the Y-axis, it actually turned it into non-inverted. Huh. The, the default setting is not inverted. I don't understand that at all, and it gets me every single time I play this game. And there's the thug we wanted. He hit us with an axe, but it's okay. Didn't do that much. Exactly. Well, you just smacked him with a bunch of webbing, so you're even now. <laughs> yes, also, Django's Spider-Man, and that's how you collect bounties. 
I'm not really sure guy. where they go after you tie them up. They kind of just magically disappear. That, what, what was that? Oh, that was a quick look at our weapon screen, and I decided to beat the crap out of this guy with my fists. Gentlemen, sport. You have a lot of different weapons. Well, there's a decent number of weapons in this game that I'll be trying to show off as often as I can. Especially some of the later ones. And by later, I mean next chapter. <laughs> well, it seems these pistols are pretty effective. Yeah, you can pretty much go through the whole game with pistols. There's only a few spots where they're not really at least effective enough. Like that giant bug you fought. Well, that was pretty much all you could do with him. I mean, I guess you could punch him, but he'd probably hit you. I want to see that. Anyway, that guy that ran away is a bounty. And where the hell is he? Oh, there he is, cowering and running away. What a bitch! <laughs> You have to mark a bounty before you can actually capture them, so... I have to make him stop moving, the asshole. He's got a nice mohawk. He does, most Rodians do. All of the uh, alien species in the in this place are kind of Star Wars regulars. Like yeah, the pigs are uh, from Jabba the Hutt's palace. Those are Gormorian guards, sir! Those Rodian guys before... <laughs> You've seen all of them a million times. Yeah, just... Oh, you know. there's another one with a bounty. And as usual, they all look the same, but there's like a few different types of human sprites. Of, yeah, course. of course. Anyway, moving on now. Oh, never mind, that door's locked. Oh, so we're just that stuck one is here? Too. What can we do? Hmm. Nah, just kidding. This, well, this whole way is just to get those two bounties. No. Oh! I thought we were missing like a grade or something to keep going forward. No. A grade is generally a good thing to look for in here. The levels are mostly linear, but sometimes you really gotta figure out what the game wanted you to think. Sometimes you gotta platform. Yep. The platforming isn't too bad. I mean it's third person. And we'll have a jetpack back eventually. Yeah, that'll make things way easier. You mean you don't go through this entire game without his particular jetpack? No. Somehow it, uh, they kind of managed to shoehorn it in. Wow, way to sell out, fucking Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, this pisses me off. <laughs> Here's some animal things. I don't really know what they are, but they're ugly motherfuckers. They don't have bounties on them, though. He looks kind of sad. Well, now he's going to die, so I would be sad, too, if I was just in a pit and someone shot me from the balcony. You monster! I am a monster. Django's a monster. He really is. We're we're gonna be murdering a lot of people in this. Well, okay, people, fine, but my liberal sensitivities cannot handle it if you murder animals. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go out of my way to murder animals in that case. Ha! <sighs> there, there's actually gonna be a point where we need to hurt an animal to advance. Jeez, I'm gonna go eat a vegan pizza in protest of this game. Uh huh? That's gonna that'll be fun. Yep. Now, there's one last bounty in this level, and he's right over there. The scan visor lets you uh, zoom in, which is really useful when someone's far away and you want to mark them before they can start shooting at you. So what are they shooting at? Of course. At? Hmm? What are they shooting at? Oh, this is like a target range. Um, you'll see it when I like zoom out again. Oh, that's there's what There's like targets standing there. Yeah, those that's white what those things. holograms are. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell they holograms. I thought they were just like a cult. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought those were like Protoss pylons. Oof. Nope. Anyway, Nerd. what I'm doing here is kind of like pseudo-sniping, because we have these things called instant death darts. I don't actually know that's what they're called, but... Close enough. They'll take out pretty much any regular enemy in one hit. And if you zoom in with your visor and fire at the exact same spot, the dart will hit exactly in the center of what you were scanning. So we just used it to take out those three guys. Nice. Of course, now that a guy kills his three friends and slides down, he still doesn't take any notice of me. And I picked up a new weapon, but I didn't notice, so I gunned down that bounty, which was worth more alive. Oof. Oh well! There goes our perfect. <laughs> it doesn't matter, they're worth enough dead. Voting one, moving on. Yup. I, I kinda tried to catch this guy, even though I knew he wasn't a bounty. I wasn't really thinking at this point. I was so sad that I had lost that uh, that I had lost out on 500 credits. I just completely screwed with your head. Speaking of that, are credits worth anything? Uh, they unlock concept art. Oh, hmm. so no. That's it. No, 
I'll be posting concept art in the thread, though. Because you have to know. There's actually a lot of worthless collectibles in this game. You go through the whole game without even, like, knowing them. Hmm. More door opening. Bounty hunter style. Door murdering. Mm-hmm. Anyway, generally speaking, bounties will be worth more one way or the other, and I'll try to get them the way they're worth more, but sometimes I just won't be able to manage, like in that case. And, uh... I'll take them in dead. So, I'm assuming those blue things are health? Yes, they're back to containers. I have never seen this before in my life. Ah, it's a Star Wars Extended Universe regular. What's a back It's a magic fluid. Mm. Anyway, speaking of uh, hurting animals... Oh god. See, we have to open that door, and the only way to do that is to get into the trainer's chamber. And uh, the only way to do that is to shoot an innocent animal. Also, we picked up a feather. What's the feather? Freeze! Don't shoot! To answer your question from before, feathers are secrets, as this shows. Oh. Um, they unlock more pointless unlockables. Not concept art, though. I'll be showing that off. Um, this is your level complete screen. Zero non-enemies, so... There, there weren't enough non-enemies in the level for me to kill. I'm not actually sure if there are any innocents in the level. Well, I mean, there were those creatures, but I guess they didn't count. No. Nope. Jeez! There. You don't have to feel bad. <laughs> I think they would have tried to eat me if I had gone down there. You were just being proactive. I was. You would have deserved it, too! <laughs> That's the first video. Um, hope you liked it. Hope you come back for more. See you later. I will not! I'm protesting!